Household Finance, the company that has solved more financial problems for more people than anyone else in the business. That's HFC, Household Finance. Now, more music and the Ken Garland Show. Thank you. Normally, I would say I'm going to take it and run with it. This morning, I'll just take it. Welcome to WIP. How posh. Well, there's an acceptable beginning to our fourth and final hour with you this morning. I'm sure to many of you ladies especially, it's more than acceptable. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, it is, and so is he. He has a new record. I've just, I just read an ad. Just read an ad in one of, the, uh, one of the music Bibles, a record called Love Is All. Described as beautifully interpreted by the master of love songs. I should imagine we'll be bringing you that within a very few minutes. As soon as the morning mail comes in. This is Ken Garland, and welcome to more of WIP's Hot, Hazy, Humid, and uh, Tuesday. It's 14 minutes past 9 o'clock. We've come off the first cash call of the day, and uh, we have $147.61 in the pot. That's one forty-seven sixty-one. The Philadelphia temperature is up to 84 degrees, and let's depart that subject in a hurry. W-I-P. And get back to our main thing, which is music. That's Eve Graham and the uh, the New Seekers group, and the greatest song I've ever heard. And it just may be that. It's 18 minutes past 9 o'clock. WIP Good Morning Time is 18 past 9. I'm going to hum a famous Philadelphia tune, and I'd like you to identify it for me, okay? Here it goes. Okay. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah, do you know what it is? That's the action news thing. Not anymore. That's the action news, a whole lot of film theme now. Now I'm going to listen to this in Don Don. Right. They're, they're downtown, is it? Well, no, it's down, 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 down. Channel 6, action news, a lot of film with Larry Kane when he gets a chance. Larry, we seem to be seeing so much more news film and very little of you on action news every night. How does this make you feel? I love it. Let me explain it to you. Uh, excuse me, Larry. I'm sorry. I hate to interrupt, but you won't believe this news film report we just got in. Hey, his name is Larry King. I say it just in case. With all the action news film, you might forget his face. Channel 6 Action News with Larry King. That's a whole lot of film. <laughs> 19 past 9 o'clock. I was mentioning yesterday, much earlier, we have a uh, 20 minutes that we do between 10 minutes past 6 and 6.30 in the morning, which is sort of the warm-up period. We don't really do the program. <laughs> Old man Kelly, the boss, will be interested to hear that. We don't really do the program. We do, so we sort of get in the spirit of it. And all, all the serious errors that are going to be made, see, are made in that first 20 minutes. It's a, kind of a dry run. So I was just, uh, we had just done this Channel 6 commercial, and I was struck by the fact that they now have a, a, a jingle, evidently. His name is Larry Kane. Do, do, do. And I said, I thought that was really terrific, because what that is, is a, it's a commitment on on the on behalf of the station now if, for instance if you were a salesman in a shoe store and you were the star salesman and they spend about ninety bucks to put a sign up outside that says sal calibro sells shoes in this store see now they've spent the ninety bucks that's a commitment on behalf of them to you that indicates that they're interested in having people know that you're there and they've spent a few bucks to advertise it, and it makes you feel a little bit more secure. You know you'll be there for a few weeks because the boss don't spend $90 for nothing. Now, these jingles are expensive. costs a lot of people to perform in them and produce them and record them and everything. So uh, so Kane probably feels pretty good, you know. So I was just I, I wish I could get my own jingle. I, really, I'd be thrilled if the station would spend eighty-five <laughs> to have some drunk come in from Market Street, you know, and sing, That garland is a darling. In the morning, something like, <laughs> something like that. Well, so much for that. It's uh, t- too much for that. Twenty minutes past nine o'clock, 
and uh, it's, uh, gee, the relative humidity a it actually is falling. You know, it was stuck up in the 90s yesterday at this time. It's it's down to 74, but I don't think it feels very much different than yesterday. It's much warmer, 84 degrees already, and we may very well pop some kind of a record this afternoon with a high figure to be from the mid to the upper 90s. Hazy, hot, and humid weather continues at least through tomorrow. Goodbye now. W.I.P. That's Sammy. That's a delightful, uh, just a delightful song. It's been around for a number of years. There's never really been a hit, but it gets a few recordings. It gets a recording every now and then. Michelle uh, Legrand's song, The Sweet Gingerbread Man. And it's uh, 24 minutes past 9 o'clock on WIP. Oh, boy, I can hear that cold, carbonated stuff gurgling in the glass beginning now and for the rest of the day. Here come the unsugars from no cow. Bouncy, bubbly no cow flavors. Fresh, fruity, soft drink flavors. Black cherry, cola, orange, root beer, and cream. New shape up and red pop. Ginger, chocolate, lots more. Soda's just as sweet as they can be, but they've got no sugar. No sugar at all. Just 16 ounces that never add a pound. Try the unsugars from No Cow. You'll have nothing to show for it. The newest unsugar from No Cow is Tangy Shape Up. Lemon with just a hint of lime and no sugar at all. If you're trying to shape up, try Shape Up. It's delicious. Thank you. 25 minutes past 9 o'clock, 25 past 9, here in the beautiful city of Philadelphia. And it really is a beautiful city. And anybody that doubts it, uh, perhaps they had their mind changed somewhat by a, a, a wonderful column in this past Sunday's Inquirer. Jim Wooten is a guy. I don't even remember when he, and I don't know him. I've never met him. But I certainly admire his work. He uh, goes beyond being an interesting feature writer. He writes beautifully, really writes beautifully, I think. And uh, I say that with practically no qualification other than being just a, a regular reader. And I don't even remember when he came to town. All of a sudden, his column was there, and he allowed us how right away he was a newcomer to Philadelphia and had a lot to learn. He sure learned fast because he's found a, a lot of the positive things about our city and uh, uh, with no embarrassment whatsoever writes about them regularly and has a very incisive eye for what's going on around us you know the things that are right under your snoot that you don't notice but a newcomer sees right away and he did a column this past Sunday which was absolutely just a lovely column on the reasons to enjoy and how to enjoy and where to go to enjoy Philadelphia. As a matter of fact, the heading was, despite its foes, Philadelphia is a city to see and love. And then he went ahead and he applied an almost uh, poetic uh, touch to, uh, to the Schuylkill Expressway. It says, the way the town looks when you're driving south on the Schuylkill Expressway at night, that regal centerpiece of a yellow clock just beneath William Penn's feet atop City Hall. And the Franklin Institute, that gathering of gadgets and gimmickry that delights all of us who think we know something about everything, and our children who, of course, know better. And the Fountain and JFK Plaza and the Ben Franklin Bridge and Christ Church and Jack Einhorn, the world's most famous traffic cop at Broad and Vine, was just a lovely, lovely column. And as a relative newcomer to Philadelphia, I've only been here eight or nine years, you know. <laughs> that isn't long when you're talking about Philadelphia. Uh, I thought it was just a marvelous job, and I thought somebody ought to say so. I'm sure that nobody said so over at the paper, but if you read it, I'm sure you feel the same as I. Up 
in the good times She's down in the bad Whenever I That's Lobo, and how can I tell her about you on WIP? This is 610 Metro Media Radio in Philadelphia. Say I. Uh, here is a record. This is Ken Garland with the Supremes. And everybody got the right to love. Supremes, that was uh, one of the records they made just after the departure of Diana Ross, and it didn't seem to seriously damage them, turning out something like that. And it's 26 minutes before 10 o'clock, 26 before 10 here at WIP, the redoubtable and incredibly ubiquitous uh, William St. James will be here for Bill Weber again. On this Tuesday, you will hear Bill St. James at 5 past 10. The greatest racing under the sun is at Liberty Bell Racetrack where the finest thoroughbreds in the East run for the money. Enjoy the races as you lunch in the many taverns, snack bars, cafeteria, and the Turfside Terrace. Or socialize in the new Turfside Lounge. It's all cool, casual, and exciting with a daily double, exacta, and trifecta wagering. Liberty Bell Racetrack, the greatest racing under the sun. Big stakes races every Saturday, post time 1.30. Very good. And when Bill gets here, that'll be one hundred forty-seven dollars and sixty-one cents on the cash call jackpot. One hundred forty-seven, sixty-one. You may be astonished to learn this, but the reason for being for contests on radio and on television is to get listeners. See, it's to increase your audience. Are you surprised to hear that? That's that's why they're there. They are there, well, really two reasons. One is to keep the audience that you have happy. The folks that listen to the station all the time deserve a reward for listening. The other is hopefully to attract new listeners. That is uh, one of the uh, great uh, problems indigenous to this business. Well, to any business is to get new business, and in our case, new audience. And contests can do that sometimes. And I was... <laughs> I was sitting in my den with my 15-year-old son, Douglas, and occasionally we talk about this business. He's, he's becoming increasingly aware of the fact that his dad is in radio, and uh, he's getting mildly interested in it. And uh, he asks questions, and I try to answer them. And the other day we were talking about cash call and stuff like that, and he wanted to know... Uh, he wanted to know things about our audience and how much audience do we, how many people listen to the old man in the morning, you know, and how popular is the station. And I had to tell him, in all honesty, that this is the number one, and I wouldn't lie to my son, uh, the number one station in this entire uh, four million person area. So, but anyway, so I, he started getting interested in what it takes to get listeners, you know, to get listeners to listen to your station. And he sat there for a while, and I said, listen, Doug, if you can think of a contest idea, a real good contest idea, then I'll go to Mr. Tyler and, and suggest it and say it came from you. Who knows? They might use it if you come up with an original idea that we haven't thought of, you know, something that's reasonable. And he sat there for a couple of minutes, and he said, I got it. I said, what's that? Now, it is fascinating to me, and you've probably noticed the way very comp things that we make complex and confused children manage to boil them down to their simplest elements you know what I mean he says I got it I said what's that he says you give everybody in Philadelphia a dollar for listening to the station and that's really about the whole story right there the ultimate answer give everybody a buck Pay them. can't do that A Paul Simon's song, Josh to sing it, was a sunny day. It is a sunny day here in Philadelphia. 
And it would be one of those delightful sunny days were it not for all the heat and all the humidity, which shows no sign of abating over the next few days. Boy, we're really into it, and I don't know how we're going to get out of it here. Uh, there's a chance of rain, but that's not until uh, Saturday. Only a 10% chance of rain through tomorrow. 610 WIP, and this is Ken Garland at 18 minutes until 10 o'clock.